I wrote this memoir hoping to change the perceptions people had about people with schizophrenia. They believed that people with schizophrenia were often violent and could not live independently without the help of a mental facility that they had to be restricted in. In, in this memoir, you could see that I was able to live a pretty normal life without the need for restriction because of a facility. Just because someone has a mental disorder, you should not think of them as subordinate to you and that they could b live happily without a life of pain. A psychotic episode is like a walking nightmare. You're filled with extreme terror and confusion that never seems to go away. I've used the term disorganization to describe this feeling. It is as if one center gives way and coherence is lost. The sights, sounds, thoughts, and feelings don't connect. And this is all happening in slow motion. There is no cord to hold things together and assess what is going on around you. With psychosis, it's easy to get overstimulated, so I try to keep my stimulation low. I don't try to change my daily routine, and I need a lot of time alone. I'm also very vulnerable to stress, so sometimes I just need to take myself and withdraw from life completely. How does psychosis affect you on a daily basis, and how does it affect others around you? For example, while studying at Yale, I was working on a memo with some of my fellow colleagues, and I was under a lot of stress, and so I became very psychotic, and I decided to go out a window and I was trying to persuade my friends to come with me and this really freaked them out. I was dancing, singing, I, w I was not in control of myself. And they were able to persuade me to come back in and calm me down. And from this experience I realized that while under a lot of stress I just need to just detach myself from whatever I'm doing and make sure that my psychosis is in check. I think drugs can treat schizophrenia to an extent. Um, I realize that I need medications to cope with my condition because I tried to get off my medications but I was just left not in control of my psychotic episodes and however medication does not rid of my condition it just simply puts my demon it puts my demon, demons in a box, but I know they're still there, but I am in better control of them. I think the best treatment other than medication is psychoanalysis or talk therapy. While in Oxford, I went through psychoanalysis with Miss Jones, and that helped me with my battle with schizophrenia. Tell me about your difficulties at the university. I'm not smart enough. I can't do the work. You were first in your class at Vanderbilt. Now you're upset about Oxford because you want to be the best and are afraid you can't be. You feel like you're a piece of shit from your mother's bottom. I'm closing the curtains from now on because people across the street are looking at me. They hear what I'm saying. They're angry and they want to hurt me. They are, you are evacuating your angry and hostile feelings onto those people. It is you who are angry and critical. Me? And you want to... You want to control what goes on in here. I am in control. I'm in control of the world. The world is at my whim. I control the world and everything in it. You just want to feel in control because in fact you feel so helpless. I had a dream. I was making golf balls out of fetuses. You want to kill babies, you see, and then make a game out of it. You are jealous of the other babies, jealous of your brothers, jealous of my other patients. You want to kill them, and then you want to turn them into a little ball and smack them around. You want your mother and me to love you, and only you. And the worst type of treatment is insane asylums or mental institutions. I remember the first time I was restrained. It was the worst experience of my life. I've seen a lot of changes to our mental health care system that are really encouraging. 
For example, the, the laws regarding the use of mechanical restraints have gotten a lot more protective of patients and also a lot of mental institutions have been giving psychiatric patients the right to refuse medication and even though I think the medication is very helpful, it is the, the decision for every patient to make. People with schizophrenia should not be expected to live unsuccessful lives. Underestimation causes negative expectations. I feel with the proper help and resources, people with schizophrenia can do everything a normal person can do. Mental illness is an illness as much as cancer, heart disease, and diabetes, and it should be treated as such. The two main changes that I would like to see in our current healthcare system are, first, I would like to see more resources so people could get the treatment they need, and also for us to put more resources in so people are able to seek treatment voluntarily and minimize the use of force in our institutions.